Hello girlies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can tell, I am in a spring vibe. I'm in the spring mood. I just need this weather to catch up with me. It is dire outside today. Like it's on and off raining. I'm sorry if the lighting in this video, that's moon by the way. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting in this video is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, I've tried to put my ring light on just to kind of help the situation because at the moment the lighting is so bad. But I hope that it kind of helps anyway. I mean, to be honest with you, it is just absolutely horrible outside. So we move girlies, we move. Also, if you see anything poking out um, here, it is just my hot water bottle. I am having the time of the month from hell. Um, Alex's parents bought me this hot water bottle for Christmas. It's got like cats on it. You guys see, oh, so cute. It's from Etsy. I'll link the seller down below because I found the seller and I was like, please buy me this. So um, I will link this the seller down below because they also make like hat, cat, <laughs> hand warmers and stuff like that. So cute and it helps like small business, which I love. Okay girlies, so today is a misguided haul. I've got a cute few little bits to share with you from misguided for like spring styling. And I'm very excited for everything spring has to bring. Just to disclaimer, misguided have sent me these items as PR. So, but if you watch any of my other videos, you will know that this doesn't impact the way that I review or like share the items with you guys. I'm always going to be completely honest with you guys about um, the items and some of them uh, I expected more. So uh, let's just get into it, shall we? I feel I need to sort this out because I look so frumpy, but this is the best <laughs> right now. Okay, so the first item I have to share with you guys is this sweatshirt. It also comes with joggers that match, but I spilled coffee down them. It's very, it's very me. It's giving very Holly, spilling coffee everywhere. So they're actually in the wash, but um, I'll link both down for you below. To be completely honest with you, um, I would, if I could order again, I'd only get this jumper because it's from the tall section. So as you can see, the extra long arms, the sweatshirt itself is extra long. Like when it's fully down, it's extra long. And the joggers are so long too. I don't know what I was expecting, but I tried them on and I was like, wow, these joggers are so long. They're from the tall section and I'm five foot two. I don't know what I was thinking, but they're completely fine for me to wear around the house on a day-to-day -day basis. They're almost like, you know, like not cuffed joggers. So like loose fitting, like loose ended joggers. Do you know what I mean? Like the straight leg joggers. They're kind of like that on me, which isn't the worst thing in the world to be completely honest, like wearing around the house. But um, I would totally wear this jumper out and about, but I could not wear the joggers. So if you're buying them to wear as a set and you aren't, like categorized as tall, um, you probably will struggle to wear them out the house um, because for me, they even like fall over my uh, trainers. I've never had that before with joggers, but these joggers fall over my trainers because they are so long on me personally, um, but would recommend. The last time I checked though, these were out of stock. They also do a lemon color that is petite, but I preferred the pink. I'll link them down below and I'll link similar if I can find like a similar pink set. I just thought it was really cute. It says Apri Ski Club in a little pink. And I just love this color. Like it's proper strawberry and milkshake, tasty um, pink, girly pink vibes, which I love. It's just so cute. Next up, I have a dress to share with you guys. It's a bit of a wild card, but I just wanted a plain black bandeau dress to wear underneath blazers. I've seen quite a few influencers wear that kind of style where it's just a plain bandeau and then different color blazers on top. Very casual outfit, which I love. And I'm trying to get around the fact that this, yes, this is a black bandeau, it's bodycon. I'm trying to get around the fact in my head that I'm like, oh, like I'm not the right body type or the right size to wear something. That's still something that I'm really trying to overcome. And I would never have bought a dress like this before because I would have thought that um, I'm not the right body type to be wearing it, which is silly completely completely silly right we should just wear what we want wear what we feel good in and who cares about what anyone else thinks but it's easier said than done so i thought i would pick this up because it's something that i pinned a lot on my pinterest is the kind of do you know what i mean like the this bandeau and then the blazer kind of style fits 
and I want to try it myself. So yeah, I picked this up because it is ruched. So a lot of the other ones that I've seen are like straight up and down. Do you know what I mean? They're just bodycon the entire way down your body. Whereas this has ruching. So it's actually really, really flattering. So can you see that there? I'm trying to hold it in the light so you can see the ruching. Can you see that ruching? You probably can't see as good there. There, you probably see it, right? Yeah, it is still a bodycon dress, but with ruching, at least you can play around like with the ruches, like pulling them up and down over your body, see what kind of, what works for the contours of your body, what you feel is flattering, what you feel is comfortable. And honestly, it's just a really good buy. It's super stretchy, not at all see-through. Like the material is is thick, like it's it's, two layers of lined material. It's thick material. Um, girlies, I've got my nipples pissed and you can't really see them through this dress. You can see them like a smidgen, like a smidgen, but compared to all other kind of tight, tight um, kind of bandeau style items, like I have a plain black bandeau top and you could totally see my nipples through it. This, you can see them, but not that bad. Like this is definitely, like better quality than other bandeau style items I've had in the past or like just bodycon style items I've had in the past. I got it in a size 10, very, very happy with it. Honestly, it's such a good buy and a real bargain. I'm gonna be wearing this throughout the whole of spring and summer. I feel like I'm gonna go on holiday and it would just be like a throw on style dress. Like I'm gonna throw it on, um, pop a jacket over the top, pop, pop a shirt over the top and go type situation, which I love. We all love a good basics girlies. I love it. Next up, I'm gonna share this one because it's along the same vein. The one issue I'm gonna be straight up with this skirt is, uh, actually there's two issues. It's definitely more see-through. I don't even know if you guys can tell that. Probably not, but it's definitely more see-through than this. Um, the material is like a creped material, not as good as this. This is just definitely just feels all in all really good quality. This does not feel the best quality, but it isn't, the worst, honestly, it's not the worst. The second problem I have with it is it's a tiny bit long. I say this in every video, I am five foot two. Things don't usually fit on the length front anyway. So to be honest with you guys, I'm probably gonna unpick this and sew it again, like take the hem up maybe an inch, um, just so it's a little bit shorter on me and it fits better, but um, all in all, I love the design. I think it's very flattering. If you're of like maybe like five foot four and above, you probably won't have a height problem with this, like a length problem with this, I should say. Um, but you just tie it at the waist like this and it ties around. You can tie it around the back, you can tie it on the side, um, wherever you like really. And I just think it's very, very, very flattering. The only problem, like I said, is that for me, it's a little bit long, easily fixed because I have a sewing machine. I will just take it up. I got it in a size 10. Um, and for the money, I think it is a really nice skirt. It's a really good basic that I think I'll wear again and again, which means that I, I'm not too bothered about it not being like the thickest material like this. Whereas with this one, I re really don't want like this all exposed and then your bum all exposed because it's like tight, right? But this, because it is quite loose, it doesn't really, you don't stretch, it doesn't stretch to like, so you can see through it loads, you know? Like it's, it's still a decent material, not the best, but I do feel like I'm gonna get so much good wear out of this because I've already thrown it on a load of times for styling and gone, wow, this actually works, like thinking ahead for like spring, summer, right? And yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get loads of good wear out of this. Okay, so this is where, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. There is a pair of trousers here that I was so excited to arrive because I wanted a pair of cargo trousers. I really like the ones in Zara. I've seen quite a few girls wear them, but for me personally, um, I am, too short for the Zara trousers. I always have to get them taken up. And because of the material of the ones in Zara, I was feeling them. I don't feel confident that I, in my lack of sewing ability at the current moment, would be able to take them up successfully. I think that I would end up snagging, and pulling the material. It would just not come out like a straight, nice hem. Um, and for that money, I would expect them to fit. Let's try and find the pair that would fit and look cute and I did see these on um someone reviewed these I can't remember who it was but they're straight leg cargo trousers in a 10 and someone said that they would fit um petite obviously with 
uh, trainers on or chunky shoes and stuff. I do feel like these fit quite nicely in terms of the length. I like a long cargo trouser. My problem is this. Can you hear it? It's just like, when you walk, it's like this. And that's the problem I have with these. They are not my favorite. I'm going to be sending them back because I honestly just won't wear them. Um, they're just not the best material. They don't feel the best, um, but if that does not bother you, if you are not concerned at all about them being a bit scritchy scratchy, um, the fit is nice. Honestly, the fit is nice, the length is nice, the details are nice, the pockets are nice. I like that it's got a fully elasticated waistband, very comfortable. It's not got the like the button tie up that you know um, that other cargo trousers have. It's fully elasticated the entire way around. The sizing is good, it is a true size 10. They're roomy, the details with the pockets on the side, pockets on the front. Um, and they have buttons, um, the straight leg fit, it's all good. The one gripe I have is just the material. I just feel like walking around with my, cause I do have thick thighs, girlies. My legs will be like <laughs> the entire day. Not gonna lie to you. I feel like I'm gonna start a fire with my legs rubbing with this material. It is not the best. So if you are looking for a cheaper pair of cargos and you don't really, um, care that the material is a little bit scritchy scratchy and you want a comfortable pair these are for you like the waistband's really nice the length is nice again the only gripe I have is the material I just wish it was a better material to be honest that might have been me just not looking at the listing properly like on the website but I digress would not recommend these cargo trousers <laughs> next up girlies I've got a corset top girly girly girlies <sighs> Oh, I know. I, I said I wasn't going to buy any more corset tops this year. I have so many corset tops and yeah, I, I absolutely love them. I'm looking outside the weather because it was absolutely dire out there and I haven't been able to wear a single one of my corset tops from last year, this year. But I saw this colour, this raspberry pink, like compared to this, this milkshake pink, this bubblegum pink, <gasps> raspberry pink chiffon style draping corset look at these pointy little tops as well yeah i just had to have it i love this color so much this color with a pair of brown trousers it's giving like raspberry brownie do you know what i mean like it's so tasty how gorgeous um i got it in size 10 i believe yeah all of my misguided corsets are a size 10 corset tops i mean um i have so many misguided corset tops if you watch any of my hauls last year if you watch any of my hauls last year i did haul quite a few misguided corset tops i still have all of them because they are really good quality they fit my body really nicely as well which is very important because i am an e-cup chest but a size 10 to 12 so for me it can get very difficult trying to fit the girls in anything and they fit in all the misguided corset tops i feel like it's just because they've got an extra layer of stretch to them here, even though they've got a zip, they've also got this stretchy bit at the back. It, they're just really comfortable to wear and I kept all of mine because I wear them throughout all of spring with a pair of jeans and a blazer. Easy outfit, easy way to look really put together. A little nod to cottagecore if you don't want to go completely cottagecore. It's just a little nod to it, a little feminine kind of girly nod to it. And we love corsets right now, don't we girly? So yeah, love. We'll link similar ones down below, what other colours and stuff, because I know you guys like to have variety. But yeah, I absolutely love the colour. It's just so cute, like the raspberry pink. Oh. Next up, I've got another pink top. We've got different colours of pink, okay? So we've got this pink, got that pink, and we've got this pink. So I think I'm allowed. So this one is definitely more of a peach pink. Next to this pink, it makes it look not pink, but it is pink in real life. It's definitely like a blush apricot pink. Can you tell? It's hard when I've got this on right, but it's definitely pink. Trust me on that. It is so nice. It is a wrap waist corset blazer. You'll see it a lot better on me than me showing it to you like this. It's just one of those. Um, I did get it in a size 10 and it fits really, really nicely. Usually I would size up on a crop blazer or any kind of blazer just because I do have broad shoulders But because this is a tie waist and I wanted it to be very like 
you know what I mean? Like sucking me in. Um, I went for a size 10 and it fits really, really nicely. I can wear this with just a kind of a, kind of not a full t-shirt bra, but like a slimmer bra. I can then wear this on top and then do it up and you can't really see the bra, especially if you wear a nude or a pink bra. You could also go for a bralette or a full t-shirt or even a high neck top if that makes you feel more comfortable. But I mostly like these kind of wrappy bits for the waist. I think they're so flattering. One of my favorite things in the world is a crop blazer. I have so many, like I'm looking here, I've got crop blazer, crop blazer, crop blazer, crop blazer. <laughs> I've got so many, but I didn't have one that had any sort of waist wrapping detail. A lot of my other crop blazers I leave open and I'll wear a top underneath, whereas this one I would definitely um, not wear a top and just like lace it up, which I think is really, really cute. I can't wait to wear this on a date night with a pair of like formal trousers. I just think it's gonna be a really cute, but also sophisticated look because the pink, it just adds a little cuteness. Imagine with like a little shoulder bag and then some like high-waisted tailored trousers. I think it's gonna look really cute. Okay, girlies, that is everything in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Just a little while, but I got some new cute little spring bits. I'm really, really happy with the only thing that was a bit of a dud was the cargo trousers, which I personally would not recommend. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, all of these items were sent to me as PR samples, but I will never lie to you guys. I'll always tell you the truth. And to be honest with you, I don't think these are worth the money, but if you want to go ahead and check them out, they're down below as everything else is. My favourite piece in the haul is controversial this dress which was kind of like my kind of rogue piece because I knew I'd like everything else I didn't know whether I'd like this and I feel like I've just found the bandeau dress of my dreams that is also flattering that I'm gonna get so much good wear out of and that kind of creates that Pinterest look that I've been wanting but for a more like a bit more for um us curvy girls with lumps and bumps I just feel like this um, material is really flattering it drapes really nicely and I feel confident I don't feel um, uncomfortable or nervous about wearing it um, and I, yeah I feel empowered by that don't forget to let me know your favorite piece in the haul in the comment section down below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me and I will see you a lovely lot in my next video bye mm -hmm.